I really do use a cauldron. Meet some real witches among us. We're your friends. We're your neighbors. We're your teachers. Real life witches among us, right here in Utah. Very specifically what we are uh, trying to accomplish is magic. It's not just Halloween, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Hear from a real life witch living in Salt Lake City. A spell is energy directed. Rituals, spells, and magic isn't just during Halloween. Coming up, a look inside a witch's temple. Well, there is a lot you may not know about witches. The Pentagon hired their first witch as a U.S. you know, chaplain. Up next, a look into the life of casting spells and performing rituals from a witch. Halloween is a season of make-believe for most. Ghouls, goblins, and vampires may knock at your door tomorrow night looking for treats. But for some Utahns, Halloween is a season for spells, rituals, and real-life witches. We're your friends. We're your neighbors. We're your teachers. A lot of people who hear the word witch and are immediately bothered maybe even disgusted. There are witches among us. Living in Salt Lake City has been extremely supportive to the path that I'm following. They gather in public parks and private places. This is our temple for our coven. Witchcraft is a way of life for Rita Morgan. Sometimes it contains fire. I really do use a cauldron, yes. And it's, uh, it's probably my favorite piece in the entire room. The cauldron and other items are used in rituals. Very specifically what we are uh, trying to accomplish is magic. Magic is altering your fate and having the ability and the means and the courage to do that. Magic includes casting spells. A spell is energy directed. Some are used for healing. You direct your intent toward them to help them recover from their illness to help them feel better. But there's also room for less traditional ideas. Is it possible to cast a spell on somebody to make them fall in love with you? Yes. Is it a good idea? No. And when it comes to the most controversial question? Do we worship Satan? Absolutely not. I don't. And that's kind of a, a, a strong statement to say for every witch. I do not, and my associates do not. In our interview, Rita consistently expressed that not all witches share identical ideals and practices. That kind of religious community is really quite undefined, uh, quite uh, nebulous in terms of its boundaries and its beliefs. Michael Minch is a professor of religious studies at Utah Valley University. He says such individualism appeals to many in modern times. The Pentagon hired their first witch as a U.S. you know chaplain. But it may also handicap the growth of witchcraft. Budgets and charters and rules. You can't become an institution without institutional <laughs> elements, you know. He says most major religions have yet to formally acknowledge witchcraft as a significant belief system. But I find it unhelpful and um, unpeaceable that people would um, be fearful. We are no threat. We are so busy working on ourselves. We put our pants on one leg at a time. We're just like everybody else. The exact number of witches in Utah is unknown. Rita tells us there are dozens of covens like hers, but says many witches also practice their craft alone. She also believes Halloween is special because communication with the dead is easier at this time of year.